Hi, I'm Angela White, a biologist, product developer, and former high school biology teacher at Carolina Biological Supply Company. Today I'm going to show you how to load a gel as a part of doing electrophoresis. How well you load the gel affects the quality of your final results. There are five devices available from Carolina for loading gels. An adjustable pipette, a fixed volume pipette, a needle nose disposable bulb pipette, a wire trawl, and a one milliliter syringe with rubber tubing on the tip. I will review the gel loading process with each of these devices. Which one you use depends upon your budget, the lab you are doing, and personal preference. The gel I am using has been pre-poured. The wells in this gel will comfortably hold 28 microliters. If you try to load too much sample, some of it will flow out of the well and may contaminate adjacent wells. For these demonstrations, I will load 20 microliters. Remove any masking tape or dams you may have used while pouring the gel. Then place the gel into the chamber. Pouring buffer over the gel may make it easier to pull out the comb. The easiest way to remove the comb is to place your fingers and thumb on either side of the comb and gently pull up while simultaneously pushing down on the side of the gel tray. Now you are ready to load the samples. If you are using an adjustable pipette, adjust the volume on the pipette to the needed volume, in this case 20 microliters. Firmly place a tip on the pipette. Push the button on the top of the pipette down to the first stop. Place the tip into the sample while continuing to hold the button down. Draw the sample into the tip by slowly releasing the button. Don't allow the button to release too quickly. Place your elbows on the table to steady your hands and brace the hand holding the pipette with the other hand while you're loading the sample. To load the sample into the well, place the very end of the pipette tip just inside the well and slowly push the button on the top of the pipette down all the way to the second stop. Hold the button down until you have drawn the pipette tip out of the well or you will aspirate your sample back out of the well again. Do not puncture the bottom of the well with any pipette. Your sample will flow out of the bottom of the well or if the puncture is not complete, your bands may be distorted. Loading a gel using a fixed volume pipette is essentially the same as I've just shown. Be aware that some fixed volume pipettes have only one stop. If you are using a needle nose disposable pipette, draw the sample into the pipette as follows. Gently squeeze the pipette at the conical shaped area just below the bulb. Place the tip of the pipette in the sample and draw the sample up into the pipette by slowly releasing your grip on the conical area. Don't stop squeezing the conical area entirely or your sample will get sucked up too far into the pipette. Gently squeeze the pipette until all the sample is loaded. Don't blow any air into the well once the sample has flowed out of the pipette. This is a wire trawl. It has a piston and a capillary tube. Wire trawls come with different size capillary tubes marked with different calibrations for loading different volumes. First, insert the piston into the capillary tube from the end marked with the wide colored band. Gently push the piston all the way in. Hold the capillary tube like this and place your index finger through the loop of the piston. Place the tip of the capillary tube into the sample and draw the sample up to the desired calibration line by gently pulling up the piston with your index finger. Remember, no air bubbles in the capillary tube. Place the tip of the capillary tube just inside the well and slowly push the piston down until all the sample is loaded. One milliliter pipettes fitted with rubber tubing and pipette tips are one of the least expensive loading devices and are easy to use. To use these devices, place a pipette tip firmly on the rubber tubing on the end of the syringe. Push the plunger of the syringe in all the way, then draw it back a very small amount. This will give you a little extra push to expel the entire sample when you're loading. Place the end of the pipette tip into the sample and draw the sample up to the desired calibration mark. Now I have 20 microliters ready to load. Notice that there are no air bubbles in the end of the tip. Place the tip just inside the well 
and slowly expel the sample by gently pushing the plunger down. Push just until all of the sample has been expelled. One final reminder, make sure you use a new tip or capillary tube with each sample. This will help avoid cross-contamination. All of these gel loading devices, as well as the practice pipette and station kit for practicing these skills are available at carolina.com slash biotech.